Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming Arlo's three month update. He turned three months old yesterday. Um, I'm just sort of making this video as sort of memories and things I can look back on, Arlo can look back on and just remember where he was in his development and things. So he is sitting quite well if I hold on to like his hips. He's very good at keeping the top half of his body very sturdy and very straight. He's got good head control. Um, he is definitely becoming interested in food and things. When me and his dad are eating, he'll watch us. He'll watch the food go towards our mouths, watch the fork, look at the plate, things like that. Um, he is also struggling with uh, teething as well at the moment. Um, just after his first lots of jabs, about three weeks ago, he started to be teething a little bit and every sort of week that's come on, it sort of got a little bit worse. So that has been, it's been a little bit hard for you, isn't it? Um, we found some good teething products that are working though, so that's good. What else have you been up to? He's babbling loads, really talking to people, lots of smiling, almost laughing. He's sort of like making the noise of like the end of a laugh, but like the beginning part of the laugh isn't quite coming out. So I think we're not far off laughing. Um, we're struggling a bit with tummy time though. He really does not like tummy time, absolutely hates it. Don't you? absolutely hates tummy time um so he's struggling a little bit with that he is like as soon as i put him onto his tummy he starts to cry really 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 doesn't like it um so i think he's probably going to be a bit of a late roller just because he really hates tummy time so much um, I brought a mat, um, we've got like water and things in it to try and help him with just wanting to be on his tummy, so obviously his muscles to roll over can develop but it doesn't really seem to be happening, does it? You're not very happy rolling over, or trying to anyway, because you're not happy on your tummy are you? Definitely does not like his tummy, it's kind of been that way really since day one though I've always tried quite a lot of tummy time but it's never really been something he's like doing um yes yeah, so he turned three months yesterday I've weighed him and he is 14 pounds exactly um but he's still in naught to three clothes um I think because he is quite skinny but he's very very long if you can see he's a very long baby that um, he weighs more than what he looks like he weighs um, his hair at the front is also starting to come back it was um, so it's quite thick and brown at the back and then when he was about seven weeks old eight weeks old he lost pretty much all of this at the front so he kept his long bit at the back all of this bit here he just lost but um, I think it is very slowly starting to come back his cradle cap is much 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 better it was quite bad but it's much better now what are you looking at what have you found hmm? what have you found um, yes yeah, so his cradle cap much much better he is also absolutely loving the bath now um when we didn't bath him until his cord came off um so he was about a week old when that happened um and for about a month he absolutely hated the bath he would scream when he was getting undressed for the bath, he'd scream when he was in the bath, he would scream when we got him out the bath. He really, really, really hated it. But now, as soon as he even sees us filling up the bath, you can tell he starts to get excited. 
and then when he's in the bath he loves it, smiling, he looks really relaxed and chilled and then we just don't like coming out do we? You don't like coming out the bath? No? Do you not like coming out the bath? Um, obviously it is hard now that it's getting colder it's November it is hard to um, let him be in the bath for a long time because obviously he gets cold so I think it's um, it's not great that he like as soon as he gets in he loves it and he is really nice and chilled but then as soon as I've washed all over his body I just take him straight back out because otherwise he's going to get way too cold so I think he would definitely um, enjoy it better if he could be in the bath for longer but unfortunately because it's getting colder it's not really not really an option to have longer baths so you like the bath don't you? you have fun in the bath what else is there about you? Hmm? he is currently having about five and a half ounces still every three hours because he is sleeping through the night um, and sort of has been since he was about seven weeks old he um, slept from nine till four um, really consistency consistently every single night um, but then at four would have a feed and then go back to sleep again at nine and about the, these last two weeks, two and a half weeks, he has slept from nine until six. And then I get him and snuggle up with him at six and he will go back to sleep again until nine. So he won't have a bottle um, at six. He'll just come into my bed and snuggle with me. And then, um, and then I will wake him up at nine for um, his first bottle because I don't really like him going longer than 12 hours without a feed um, so yeah I wake him up at 9 um, I haven't ever left him to see how long he would go without waking up just because I'm a bit nervous about him going longer than 12 hours without a feed so um, I'm not sure how long he would sleep for but it would be interesting to know he definitely does love his sleep because he's he's in quite a good routine now. He will wake up at nine, have his first bottle, and then he will um, stay awake and play until about 11. And then he sleeps from about 11 to about half past 11. And then he will um, sort of just be happy to play and things until 12. And then he has his second bottle at 12. Um, tends to have a bit of a longer sleep after that bottle, so we'll play till about half past one. Um, but then needs a feed from about half past one, um, not a feed, sorry, a sleep from half past one till about three o'clock. And then sometimes he won't um, sleep between his three o'clock and his six o'clock feed. Um, so yeah, sometimes he won't sleep between those feeds. What's the matter? What's the matter? Um, mm. So that, that nap sort of depends on how he, he's feeling. If we're out and about, then usually, yeah, he will sleep in the pushchair. If we're not and we're at home, then it's not guaranteed that he will sleep. Um, you found your hand. Pardon. Um, and then six o'clock, between nine o'clock, um, he has a bath every other night. So the nights he doesn't have a bath, he will probably have a nap pretty much straight after his bottle. If he hasn't slept between three and six, he'll have about 45 minute nap straight after his bottle at about half past six. If he has napped between the three and the six bottle, then he won't usually nap. Um, so he'll just go to bed at about um, nine o'clock. Where's the matter? Where's the matter? 
Want to stand up? Do you want to stand up? Um, yeah, and then on bath nights, he um, has his bath about half past eight. Um, and then he'll have his milk at nine o'clock and then go straight to sleep. Aren't you? What is the matter? You don't look very happy. What's the matter? <laughs> um, I don't think it will be long before he is on um, six ounces. I make him six every bottle anyway because I can't make half an ounce, obviously. Um, but he never does drink the full six. Um, he did go through a bit of a growth spurt at about ten weeks where some bottles he would drink the whole six and then another two on top. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna have to start introducing solids at about four months. Um, not so much because of the hunger side of it, but just because of the interest side of it. He's definitely very interested in food. Um, and sometimes he won't go the whole three hours in between his feeds and he should really by now be going at least three hours between feeds so we'll see at the time it might be different in a month's time but yeah so I think that's pretty much everything about you at the moment isn't it yeah <laughs> very tidy definitely ready for that longer nap I think aren't you hmm? are you ready for that longer nap yeah. Uh, thank you for watching.